Venus rains sulfuric acid, Neptune rains diamonds, Wasp 76b, the next on our list rains molten iron, and HD 189733b rains molten glass. This is some pretty nasty weather. Wasp 76b Wasp 76b is a gas giant with a mass about 92% that of Jupiter. In the Wasp 76 planetary system, about 640 light years away from us. It orbits so close to its star, Wasp 76, at 0 0.033 astronomical units, that its year lasts only 73 hours, and it's certainly tidally locked, so that one hemisphere is always facing Wasp 76, and one is always in shadow. Wasp 76b is so close to its star that it's essentially within the star's outer atmosphere. Visiting any place named WASP doesn't sound terribly appealing, but the name just comes from the UK-led WASP telescope system or the wide-angle search for planets. WASP exoplanets are special for us right now because the wide-angle search for planets is ground-based compared to the Kepler exoplanets, which are much further away and fainter. WASP exoplanets are close enough and orbiting stars bright enough so that we can get follow-up detailed studies and this is why we know what we do about WASP 76b, and is not a nice place. For one thing, its day side is greater than 4,535 degrees Fahrenheit, or 2,400 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to atomize iron and zinc. The shadowed hemisphere is almost 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit cooler, which certainly creates ferocious winds of vaporized material. Spectroscopic observations by the Espresso instrument, part of the Southern European Very Large Telescope in Chile, indicates that at the frontier or terminator of the day and night sides, there seems to be an atmosphere of iron vapor that then condenses on the night side into a rain of molten iron. Something similar seems to be happening on OGLE TR56b, which seems to have clouds of vaporized iron and COROT7b which apparently rains re-solidified molten rock in the form of pebbles. But you wouldn't have to worry about that, because either on the dark side or the light hemispheres, the temperatures would kill you instantaneously. And on the day side, you would of course be vaporized, and on the night side, you would be immediately reduced to ashes by molten iron rain.